Hello and welcome back to the colony with Man of the Ants. We are back in Empires of the Undergrowth and very, very excitingly, the Fire Ants are finally, finally here. So by the time this video is out, you should have access to this as well. Although the uh, the blurb I've been given doesn't specifically say that, but I'm assuming, I'm assuming that the release will be at 6pm on the 27th, which is when this video should be out, because that's when the, the embargo releases. If you're watching it before then, then I've done something wrong and I am in trouble. So fingers crossed I don't mess that up. So fire ants, finally. So we've got two new formicarium levels. We've got a formicarium challenge. Uh, as you can see on the right hand side over here, look, we're up to version 0.3. This is an early access version, or it's a, technically it's a creators and press early access version of the fire ants release. So there may be some little bugs, some little tweaks, some little balancing that goes for, uh, ahead and part of the actual public release that you will see uh, this coming Wednesday or today if you've already played it, of course. So just bear that in mind. There may be some little things we may not be expecting to see, but don't worry too much. Don't worry too much. There is a long, list of updates as part of this. I'm going to go through them all because I think some of them are quite interesting. So we've got this new Formicarium tier with the two new documentary scenarios. 4.1 Cold Blood. A newly settled fire rank queen must deal with the threat of the amphibians and other denizens of the green swamp. 4.2 A Bridge Too Far. Use the fire ants abilities to traverse water and reach all the resources you can whilst an ominous shadow looms overhead. Ooh. So we've got the fire ants. We've also got um Oh, sorry, we've got two versions of the soldier variants of fire ants. We've got pervasive fire ants, which will spawn for free after a while. We've got vigorous fire ants, which will have a buff to their stats for a time after spawning. Uh, I'm just looking, someone mentioned there's going to be an extra level as part of this release. There is nothing currently in here, but in the alpha level, uh, alpha demo levels, there is the promised land, which you may recall was the uh, demo level that they created as part, that Slug Disco created as part of a, a games conference they were doing to show off the upcoming fire ants. So you probably seen that already that was on my channel previously when they released it and you may have played it yourself as well it was out publicly for a little while but if you haven't had a chance to do that it is part of this you can have a go at that there i am just going to load up the uh the formicarium that we need because uh it does say continue there and that's because i mess around continue was grayed out because previously of course we were doing our achievement hunt and our achievement hunt was nowhere near the fire ants tier so we're going to go with motor 2 i can't remember the difference to man of the ants and motor 2 but we're going to go with moto 2 because that's the most recent one so your colony is marked for destruction and must be hidden the move to the terrarium will award you an amount of jelly during the switch based on your prior colony size and resources select the rehouse the colony and you can no longer do re uh, formicarium challenge 3 Exactly the same as they did with the leaf cutter update where they you had to make a new nest for tier three as well. So it's exactly the same as that. So let's have a quick oh in fact, you no, know, what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna let these people, let these ants wander around and do their things, give you something to look at while I go through the update. So we mentioned the uh, the soldiers having the pervasive ones which will spawn for free after a while, or the vigorous fire ants, which will have a buff to their stats for a time after spawning. Um the tile of both variants can support two ants at a time at level three. So if you upgrade all of your tiles to level three, you just double the size of your of your soldier army. That's insane. That's amazing. What are they all doing outside here? Let's have a little look. Are they all going for food, but they've got no food stores yet? Uh, we have 30,000 food in store. What I might do... Can we make more food tiles, or is that going to cause problems for somewhere? Uh, let's have a look. It's not really anywhere near the entrance. I'm just trying to see if there's a good place to do this, but I don't think there is. We've got this this here. Let's just expand into this. I'm just going to continue con uh, gathering food, because I think the food will impact the royal jelly we have. Or is it just stuff that you've built? I can't remember what how tier 3 worked. I think either way we're going to be okay, because we have a lot of food in store. We have a full nest. We have a full compliment we have three less population than we're technically allowed we might chuck down three other ants somewhere random just so we could say we've got them uh, what would what ants would we want to get well, it's probably the uh, the majors right so these are majors here so let's just go one two three let's do it like that it's a bit weird but let's do that 
And once they've dug this out, we'll pop down. Yeah, you can see it popping up there. Look, just just in case that that little bit of extra jelly we're going to get. Um, we need some updates over here. This is all entirely unnecessary for the uh, for the fire ant update, but I'm just getting myself distracted. So we also have new ant skills, bridge building, where they can build floating bridges over water, but only over water. Uh, aphid relocation, they can relocate yellow aphids from distant milkweed plants and bring them closer to home for a reliable source of honeydew, which is amazing, but other colonies may not like that apparently, weirdly. And titan climbing, this is very exciting. So we have large, large enemies in the game similar again to the uh, was it the leaf cutters or was it the um the army ants you had the huge huge whip spider in the middle of one of their levels um so similar to that but now these giant titans and these are going to be bigger than the, the whip spiders as well can be climbed so you don't just stand around them and attack their toes you can climb up their limbs and attack them from above which is incredible we have auxiliary ant species we have big headed ants uh, who have an ancient genetic variant waiting to be awoken. Ooh. We have little black ants which use a chemical threat display called gaster flagging, which I'm pretty sure just means they spray stuff in the face. Uh, we have got the new swamp environment, a menagerie of new swamp dwelling critters with unique stats and abilities, new voice acting, new music, which I'm very excited about because all the music in Empires is absolutely incredible. I don't think I've ever had a single time where I've been like, oh, this music's a little bit... I don't know what they're going for. I mean, I'm not very happy with it. All the music in this game is incredible and I love it. Let's just carry on doing this for absolutely no reason. In fact, can we get rid of... Well, we'll leave all that. That's fine. That's fine. Whatever. Whatever. But we can do like that. Um, what else we got? They've got the former carry in Challenge 4 once you've completed 4.1 and 4.2. Uh, and once you've finished that, the Fire Ants will make a fine addition to your collection. So I'm assuming then you can add them to your former Carrium level, like in here. And I don't know whether the free play will rely on you finishing the levels, or if they'll just be available straight away. Maybe it'll tell us in a moment, eh? Maybe I'm getting ahead of myself slightly. What else have we got? Um... Do, 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 do. There are four fem former carrion upgrade options. Sure-footed gains extra attack damage when mounted on an enemy. Evasive gains a small chance of taking uh, no damage from a hit. So these are the upgrades that we talk about in here. So the fire ants will obviously appear over here. Are they? Yeah, there they are. Look. So the upgrades for these creatures here, or these creatures, <laughs> these ants over here we're talking about. Um, last stand, zero health. He will survive. Oh, sorry. Will survive for a short time with reduced attack speed. And last laugh, upon death, the fire ant would deal high damage to its closest enemy if in range. And then once you've upgraded and stocked up your resources, the scientist has an idea. And he does something very silly in former Carrying Challenge 4, I am sure about that. And there will be a test of your colony's prowess and your own skills as a player, which is interesting. There are a bunch of other cr uh, changes as well. Buried creatures now display on the mini-map. So down here you will see the, the creature uh, exclamation marks and, and question marks, which is interesting. I like that. I like that a lot. Additions to the mini-map are more consistent pings. Uh, woodworm and woodwise now, now appear as food on the mini-map. Amazing. Escape key now closes the in-game menu. I love that. There's nothing worse for me, and this is something that Elden Ring does, where you bring up a, a, a menu with a certain button, and pressing the same button doesn't get rid of it. I believe the map menu in Elden Ring, you press the back button on the controller, but then back doesn't close it. You have to press B. It's annoying. It's silly. So I'm glad they've done that. I didn't complain about that, but I'm glad they've done that. Um, former camera challenge 3 is now a little easier on hard and insane. Uh, we can rotate the camera view 90 degrees left and right. Oh! It looks a bit weird with all the icons staying the same way, but that's class. Look at that. Um, what else have we got? I'm getting excited about the silliest things now. I added a quick build and upgrade tool which detects the nearby tile type to use. Did we upgrade these tiles? I don't think we did, did we? Just do a whole bunch of this just to give our colony something to do while we're, while we're going through these. Um, doo -doo -doo -doo. Yeah, added a quick build upgrade tool which detects nearby tile type to use. Use thumb mouse button by default. So if you just build a tile next to an existing tile, do I have a thumb mouse? What does it mean by thumb mouse button? Let's dig out a tile. Oh, don't do that. Don't do that. You carry on going over there. So if I... Well, I've been pressing the back button. Oh, I see. You hold the back button. And it just builds, also you have to hold the, the it's the back button, uh, so you have the forward back buttons on the side of your mouse. 
and that gives you the option then to build something immediately next to it, which is the same tile type. I wonder if that's linked to... If I just build like an extra tile over like here. I wonder if it depends like if you hover over. So if I hover over the food... No, it just is whatever's adjacent to it. Okay, that's cool. I like that. That's nice. That's a nice little... Uh, what's the quality of life improvement? That's what I'm looking for. Delete tool can now be used on tiles where builders not yet started. Amazing. I added an entirely new set of icons for the Formica Eruptor Adaptions menu. Uh, a few other things. Checks for corruption on your save. Da, 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 da. Added victory and defeat images for Beetle Rise Up and the Hungry Spider levels. I do need to do Hungry Spider, obviously, as everyone keeps reminding me. And I'm not overly keen on doing it, but it is the last achievement I need to do. So we will do that at some point. Um... A few other little, maybe sort of almost bug fixes, really. Creatures now display the correct status effect. Um, the promised land demo level has been reinstated, which you already mentioned. Moving buried creatures will now throb on the mini map. So, creatures you haven't uncovered will now throb on the mini map, I'm guessing that means. Okay. Uh, what else have we got? Fixes and optimizations, and they've also added seven new officially supported language localizations. So if you uh, are fluent in Czech, Spanish, French, Korean, Japanese, Dutch, or Polish, well, you are in luck. You're in luck. And there's a whole bunch of other, like, say, optimizations and fixes and stuff, which we're not going to go into. So, more exciting. We have waffled on now for about ten minutes, so you know what time it is, don't you? You know what time it is. It is time to go here and rehouse the colony. And then nothing happens. And then nothing happens. Uh, there we go. <laughs> uh, this tank is not suitable for the upcoming test. It is time to rehouse the colony. You will be awarded an amount of jelly during the switch based on the colony size, construction, stored resources. Ah, so our stored 33,000 food will count. And territory, where we are maxed out, I think, in absolutely everything. So let's rehouse and see what happens. Short sighted. Did I back my save up before this? I don't know. Probably. I will have a backup of this, this one. Yeah, shh, shh. So we have a time of 250 minutes, I'm guessing. Construction, excavation, resources, and territory. Our resources only got us... 414 we could have if you excavate more so we could have just excavated the entire lower tier but we have got 1500 royal jelly which seems like quite a lot of royal jelly i think and now let's go to a new Is formicarium yes yes Look. Ooh. Ooh, round see. well good it's about time round anyway, i'm going to need you to make yourself available this afternoon immediately different okay a large quantity of unrefined jelly has gone missing from the mm -hmm. and supply wants to speak with the whole group about proper checkout procedures mm -hmm. you wouldn't happen to know anything about it would you mm -hmm. what no what would i want with unrefined jelly well <laughs> i'm just bribing ant colonies what would i want indeed <laughs> Sorry, I was having a little drink of tea while they were waffling away there. What would he want in indeed? Uh, let's just have a quick look. So we've got 4.1 cold blood carving out an existence at the edge of a swamp will not be easy for this fire ant colony. And 4.2, a bridge too far, impending floods could mark the end for this fire ant colony. Oh, it's exciting. Uh, did I mention challenge mode? Did I mention challenge mode? I don't think I mentioned it. Did the blurb mention it? Uh, I don't think it does mention a challenge mode. But surely there is, or there will be. The one thing I was obviously quite looking forward to was having some new achievements, but that seems like that isn't going to come as part of this. But as they did mention uh, in the blurb on the main menu for the game, there the next update is going to be a big free play update. So maybe as part of that, they'll do something. We'll see. We'll see. Anyway, let's have a look at this. Let's dig out this. And then start thinking about the fact that we have got... You've gained access to two more levels and a new form of carrium challenge. Yes, 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 yes. Your queen and a few workers. Literally three workers. And then the scientist murdered, like flat out murdered everyone else, which is just crazy. We're not going to build the whole area. I just want to have a look. Ooh, look at this. Look at this. We can even go whoop, 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 whoop. 
This is interesting. What is this? Oh, we can do that. S. Tenellum. Stenellum. Okay. We've got a spade. So it's like a little moss garden, isn't it? S. Fuscum. Interesting. Interesting. I'm assuming that's the name. Oh, I don't think we're going to be able to see this one. We'll have to go into the. Uh, oh, S. Balticum, I think that says. You see the edge of the tank there. Yeah, beautiful. We can see the obvious paths that enemies are going to take to get to us during these these challenges and everything. But yeah, that's really really cool. Re I like the, I like the paths that are kind of like worn into the ground. I wonder if these mean anything. These these patches here, or if that's just decoration. Anyway, what we're we up to now? Fifteen minutes. It's about time, isn't it? It's about time we. Oh, hang on. I say that. No, I don't want to do that. Oh, there we go. That's what I want to do. So we have the fire. Are we the fire? It costs five hundred. That's what I want to see. I want to see what the costs were for the jelly to see just to make sure we had enough. Because if we didn't, that was going to be problematic. But it's fine. It's all fine. Four point one cold bled medium. This is, oh, unit options. Uh, pervasive ants will become free to hatch if the egg has been on the tile for a short period of time. I'd like to know what period of time. But that's interesting. If you get attacked, that could be a really interesting one. And this one, upon hatch, and the ant briefly receives an attack damage, speed, and resistance buff. I think I'm going to go for. I'm going to go for vigorous. I think. I think this one would be really good if you had a sudden attack. So it depends what the actual scenarios are. Or how, what do they call them? The documentary scenarios, yes. That could be really good if you had, like, spread out waves attacking you. But this one is all... If you're on the attack, this one's always going to be good. So let's go with that. Let's go with that. Oh, look, the fire ants are on the menu screens. Okay, what have we got? What have we got? We're in the this swamp biome. Victor, There's the entrance. Has landed on the you can see everything on the mini map now. That is so useful. Native habitat, but the fire ants are well known for their ability to adapt. Oh, aren't they just? For food Lots of food, food down fierce. here. She will need to a little bit over there to compete with the local. Wait, how do you get over there? Wait, how do you get over there? Oh, wow! You have to go. So we're here. You have to go along here. Down here, past these, down here, and then into here. And you get a huge area down here. Interesting. So for now, there is a tiny little bit of free food. Which maybe we don't want to go. And we're going to be able to fit. A, we don't want to fit. A, that's going to be like a food store area, I think, isn't it? So let's do like. Let's do this for now. And let's do that. So some little grubs, lovely. Some more grubs down there, wonderful. This will just say this whole area is set aside for food storage. So this, can we turn this into a, a nine? Well, let's get some food storage down, I suppose. Let's turn there. Oh, hello, look at these. Didn't even see these down here. So we've got uh, disable gather and disable attack. I'm gonna disable attack for a minute. We've got Disable Aphid Relocation and Disable Enemy Mountain. It's interesting that's a specific... I'm sure I didn't miss these. That's interesting that they didn't uh, didn't take. Let's pop down a couple of food tiles. And then let's think here. Um, I don't think that's enough space, is it? Is it three? Something I need... Well, that's it, isn't it? Because that's the... Yeah, no, I think we're fine. <laughs> wow. Wow. How confident are you feeling about my ability to do anything right now? Right, fire and brood tile, please. That doesn't look at all right, does it? We need to do like that. There we go. Right, bash, right in the middle. And we'll just keep building some of these as long as we can. They'll keep gathering food. Mm 
Now there's no other free food source for us, is there? This is all the free food we're gonna get. Let's pop those over there. Yeah, everything else nearby has got something on it, so we don't want to deal with that. Let's take a little look at our queen, actually. Let's get a good look at our queen. Oh, as I try to remember all of the buttons. There she is. Look, oh, she's so cute and tiny. She is absolutely adorable, isn't she? Absolutely adorable. So shiny and glossy. I don't know if that's intentional. Is that a characteristic of fire ants? No idea. That's uh, that's new as well, isn't it? This this is nice. This is a nice little visual sort of secondary reminder of how close you are to being able to upgrade them. That's nice. I like this. I like this a lot. I like where this is going. Let's get a couple more food tiles down. And let's just start, let's like dig out like this. And that's like something like that for food. Oh, oh. Right. Let's get a couple more of those down. Let's dig out the top level, shall we? And figure out what's actually going on here. Because time waiteth for no man. And we know for a fact that we can't just sit down here forever. Because we've made that mistake in other levels. Well, that was patched out of other levels previously. A vigorous fire ants going to buff to attack damage movement when they've been hatched. Yes, yes, yes. Fire ant soldiers will bite opponents, causing physical damage. However, they will also periodically use their stinger, which deals much higher venom damage. Most of their damage comes from their stinger. So they got like a, a basic attack and an the ultimate attack. And oh my word, look at this. Titan to the north. Oh my word. American bullfrog. Oh my word. This large female has found the perfect spot to feed. Sheltered by foliage and in the path of many wandering insects and Venus fly traps. We didn't even mention the no plant life, I don't think, do we? did we? Eventually, she will need to be displaced. But for now, the fire ants have more pressing business to attend to. Can we? Oh, where am I? No, oh, I wanted to get a. There's... I wanted to get a closer look at the frog, and it's put me. I don't know where it's put me. Where are we? Where on earth has it put us? Oh, we're right behind the frog. Frog? Toad? I'm not too sure. Look at this. Look how long it takes me just to pan around this. Oh, wow. How close can we get to its eye? Can we go inside it? We can go inside it. Oh, it's got fleshy insides. I <laughs> love it. Food to feed the new brood. So the frog has this meter here, the American bullfrog. I'm guessing as it feeds, that increases. And it's already got a little bit because of the time we took downstairs. And I'm also assuming the more of that bar it has, the harder it is to kill. So there's a bit of a hurry on to get there. Where are we? Where are we? This one? We can't be that one. Or that one. So we're this one. Yeah, we're, we're this one. Okay. So we have the soil yeah. surrounding the nest is lacking in nitrogen and phosphorus. Oh, look hello. Nutrients vital for plants to photosynthesize and grow. To survive in Very this cute. environment, some have evolved to supplement their mineral diet by trapping and dissolving <laughs> invertebrate <laughs> prey. Oh my word, I love this. I love this. I don't know what this is. Is this is this one of the one of the aphids? Many of the milkweed plants growing nearby are infested with aphids. Yes. The honeydew excretions present an ideal energy-rich food source for the fire ants. Aphids far from the nest are vulnerable, however, and are sometimes relocated closer to home where they can be better protected from predators and thieves. So that's an aphid area. I can't see. Oh, there's the aphids. Look, so there's three aphids there and dropped a little bit of food underneath. Which we're not collecting for some reason. It says there's 10 food there, but also there's a zero underneath. So I'm confused about that. If aphid relocation is enabled for a pheromone group, ants that find aphids on remote milkweed plants will collect them and deposit them on the nearest plant to their nest entrance. Cool. I was wondering how that worked. <clears throat> yeah, okay. So if, if otherwise, they'll just harvest the stuff. That's fine. Well, I was coming out to see if there was any food around, but there are more. I mean, this is so beautiful. This swampland is so beautiful. It's immediately distracted me from doing anything useful. 
There's a bunch of food over here, look, which seems to be dropping off of this plant. There's a little shiny beetle down here. See, as we just saw, yes, the Venus flytraps. Oh, and these as well. Pitcher plants. Oh, look at this. Look at this. I'm so excited about everything right now. I really genuinely am. Can we get a better look at this? Oh, that's about as good as it's going to get. Oh, look at that. Just hanging on a pitcher plant leaf, just taking advantage. Oh, I love it. I love it. West, scavenging for seeds, aphids, and dead insects, they are unlikely to pose a threat to the Invicta colony if left undisturbed. So they won't pose a threat until we attack them, in which case they pose a threat. So they do pose a threat, is what you're saying. There's lots of food up here. What are we going for? I suppose these... Why are these dead? What killed these? That's concerning to me. Did this kill them? I don't even really know what to do. What, what am I going to do? Let's... Uh, where did that half-dead thing go? Where did you go? I don't know. What if I say go over here and get this food? Do that. So there's not a lot of big food sources outside this. I suppose you're supposed to harvest the... Uh, Oh, there's these little bugs on them. That's where the food comes from. Little caterpillars. Awesome. I suppose getting the aphids is a big thing. What's this? Don't go over there. Don't go over there. That's insane. Don't go over there. But what is this? Is it a dragonfly or a wasp? Does it give me a list of the new creatures? It doesn't give me a list of the new creatures in the update. No, I didn't just skip over it. I don't think it is in there, but yeah, that's... I know they are doing dragonflies as a part of the swamp, but the, the the mandibles here make it look like a praying mantis, but I don't think any praying mantis species has the ability to fly. Oh, my, it's just... Mm, everything about this is like, so exciting. It really is. So we've got... Oh, the seven's my number of ants, of course. Oh, they're carrying the whole spider. They don't just farm it. Oh, my word, this is so good. So these creatures attack each other. So what happens if we attack you? And how 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 do you Six get stuck on the, the Venus flytrap? Oh, this is quite tough. Oh no, it hasn't. We didn't even touch it. We didn't even touch it. Don't go near it, mate. Don't go near it. That's crazy. A little bit of food over there. Go get that. Legs give it the speed to chase down small arthropods with ease. We might have to do some more foraging in the nest first, because it seems like food sources are quite few and far between on the map, on the overworld, until you've got quite domineering. And you can take out these little green things, which absolutely rinsed me. They are not a starting enemy at all. So maybe let's do that. Maybe let's go explore some of the depths of the nest. Let's go up here. I'm sure this number is very different. Like, is it a lot bigger? Oh, these things are attacking us. Oh, of course it's got the exclamation mark. have uncovered a group of hungry checkered beetle larvae. The soft grubs may look defenseless, but they have big they jaws look delicious. and appetites to match. It's lost a little bit. Yeah, this, this number being so big, I'm sure it's just to make it differentiate from the rest of them, but I'm finding it quite distracting being that big, I think. Like, it really stands out. Keep that food coming. That might be about everything. There are four over there, two down here. Do, 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 do. Oh, just the new It's the new music. I only just clicked. It's the new music. Do, do, do. Love it. The big-headed ant soldiers will hold their own, but don't pose too much of a threat. If the colony feels threatened, they may begin producing a more dangerous cast. Ah, the, the big heads, I assume. The six-spotted tiger beetle is fast and will stun its enemies in a medium area with a jab to the ground. The slow larva of the checkered beetle has higher health and damage than many other small creatures, and fire ants can, perform, can form pontoons across water. Yeah, so the way that works, if there is an area that was suitable to pontoon across, like this looks like this water level might rise up and down because of this here. Um, 
Let's just spam everyone in there. So if you had a colony over here and you wanted to get to this side, you could say, just put a marker down over here and it will start building the bridge. But it will do that regardless of whether it has enough ants to do that or not. So I believe this, the soldier ants have a, it doesn't say, does it? I believe they have a, a bigger length, a bigger reach in terms of the bridge building, the bridge spanning. But yes, but once you have enough ants, it will complete the bridge and then other ants can just walk back and forth across it. And then if the water level um, disappears and they're suddenly bridged over nothing, they'll just fall down and walk away. Oh, don't go off there. Don't go off there. Let's come off up. Let's come off here. <clears throat> oh, my word. I'll tell you what, I am just, I'm jigging around right now to this music. I don't, I hope you can't hear my chair because it's going to be very distracting on the audio if you can just hear my like chair creaking in the background. Um, 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 um. Yeah, the slug disco have failed to let me down with the soundtrack. There must be enough ants in the group to complete the pontoon. Oh, there we go. Then others can cross it. If the water changes height, ants that will fall down or drown. Yeah, oh, that's exactly what I just said. Perfect. It's like I played this before, isn't it? Be protected. If only I was any good at it. If oh, I know, I'm as disappointed as you. <laughs> the local amphibians begin to emerge. Oh. Crevices near the water. Oh, I forgot about sunsetting. What is this? Quickly, the ants should. It's a little newt or something. Or not at all. I probably should have spent some time looking at what the actual uh, newly added creatures were going to look like and what they were, but it's sort of more exciting just to. And I have seen them all before. In the various trailers and everything, I was like, I love that. Like a little scuttle, 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 scuttle. And what do we have over here? What's here? It says there's an enemy. Is that we're just referring to the? Oh, it's referring to that spider. Yes, of course, of course. And then there's this. Oh, the bombardier beetle. So these are the ones that we fought in the promised land demo. A bombardier beetle bracking Ah, got him to take that out of the audio, just coughed without muting it first. Yes. It may seem unwise for it to wander so freely amongst the large amphibians that mm -hmm. fear the swamp at night, but they would do well to leave it alone. Mm. This beetle is a master of chemical warfare. Yes. Yes, so we saw those in the Promised Land demo. They, um, they spray you in the face and they kill hordes of ants at a single single waft of their bum, essentially. <laughs> For lack of a better phrase. Uh, I started doing upgrades, but I was actually thinking we probably actually want to focus on more ants more than anything, because we want to try and get these these aphids. I was being a little cautious, because this guy is wandering around here. The toad arrival? What does toad arrival mean? So these should come down here and relocate these five aphids that are up here you can tell me about the toad rival now that's the bombardier very high damage in a large area yeah so one of the things we tried to do in the promised land demo was trying to like almost kite them so you sort of send in a couple to try and get them to use their spray and then bomb them or then there's a bad choice of words as the bombardiers and then attack them on mass dwarf salamander has high health and attack Enemies outside of melee range can be grabbed by its tongue and eaten and consumed in the ants heals the salamander. So it's high attack. Oh dear. Oh dear. And yet we are barely touching it. Run away! What's this? Is another one. Through tight crevices in search of food. At night, eastern narrow-mouthed toads patrol above ground looking for food. Where do they? Up seventy-five percent of their diet. Oh, I don't like that. Small colony must stay alert. To make matters worse, they are excellent diggers. It's only a matter of time before one tunnels its way into the oh. nest. Oh, oh dear! Like immediately. That's what you mean. You don't mean like in a little while. You mean like immediate. Oh my word! There are loads of them. There's another one over here. That's why they put burrow and enemies on the mini map because hello. And they can dig through the bits that we cannot as well. Right, I am panicking now. I am panicking Anakin. Um, let's start off. What is this? Amphibian attacks will increase in intensity as time goes on. Work quickly and don't let your guard down. Victory may not be as simple as it appears. Let's get rid of all of these. I don't need them. 
how amazingly timed was that? Um, the eastern narrowmouth toad will eat ants with its tongue, each one adding to the duration of a healing effect. Okay, and additionally it can scoop multiple ants into it, so it can eat a whole mouthful of ants and give itself a huge boost to its healing effect. The little black ants gas to flagging ability can both confuse and weaken your ants, making them take increased physical damage for a short time whilst they stop attacking you. I mean, honestly, I'm going, all these things are just like, this whole game is designed around me losing, it seems. I don't have any food. Where do I get food? <laughs> Let's come over here. Let's see what's over here. The bullfrog is eating. Oh, there's one of the little toads. Look. Oh, he eats them. Oh, I wasn't expecting that. I wasn't expecting that at all. Predators are loose in the nest. The larvae must be protected. Are they? Oh, yeah, those. Okay, that's fine. The colony it's like it's one of the toads. We're, we're screwed. Food oh, no, we are. You brood. Oh, dear, we are. Oh, dear, we are. A narrow-mouthed toad. How much damage do we do to a narrow-mouthed toad? It may be small for a toad, but its appetite for ants is insatiable. Secretions from its skin burn any that manage. How many is it eaten at once? Projectile tongue. Like five. Doesn't seem to do that every time. I had one then. Maybe a couple then. One then. Five. I think it does, it does like a super attack every now and then. Where it suddenly eats five ants. And it only gives you 55 food. Oh, I mean, just, you don't want to... You don't have fun playing this game, do you? No, you want to panic. Oh, this is going to be a little worker area because we are struggling to get the eggs out in time. So we're going to put some workers down here. And I'm not so bothered about making that a, a proper shape. That's just going to be whatever it is. In fact, is that... And it's kind of on the thoroughfare to this area, isn't it? Which is a, excuse me, bit of a pain, but we'll be fine. Um, right, we need to get some more. Oh, this guy's still wandering around. He's making me worry. He's making me worry. We've got big things over there that I'd really rather not deal with, but I don't think we've got much of an. Well, these three definitely have to deal with at some point. We've ran out. We basically ran out of food in the nest, though, haven't we? Because everything else is beyond our range, which means we need to go outside of the nest and get the little... Oh, we did manage to get all the five aphids back, so we now have eight aphids on this, which is wonderful. When it is day again, and I don't have bombardier beetles and salamanders to worry about, we will have a go at crossing over this bit of water over... Oh, but we've got that then. Does that just drop and attack us? I'd want those seven aphids. I want to build a bridge over there. I don't know where the best or here the look these two points here are the bridge point the damp alcoves I don't think there's necessarily the only fixed points only you can build a bridge to and from remains just does it from the nearest points but I think that's probably just a, a development or oh, sorry meal to wander by so everyone else has gone underground again yeah so I, th I think they've just highlighted that's where the bridge would be lots of food up here what have we got here that's the bombardier beast which should be running away now what have we got over here? One of those spiders that we should be doing. I might try and get everyone to run up here. See how well this goes. On the assumption that Bombardier Beetle is running away. And that's just one of the... So if we can get this food, get a few more ants down. In fact, we've got a little bit of... A uh, little bit of food. Green jumping spider, Lissoma viridis. Has Lissoma viridis. It Love it. On foliage, it's it absolutely to be gorgeous. Predators and prey alike. Out on the ground, it's more vulnerable, but that won't stop it from snacking on lone ants. Why are you? Why did you? Why did you do that? You absolute mad thing. Ventured onto a Venus flytrap in search of nectar. If it brushes against the hairs on the open red... Which it definitely did. They will snap shut. Oh, they got the little speed boost. They must have just hatched it. There is no escape. The prisoner will be slowly digested until nothing more than a husk remains. Fair enough, all right. Oh, hello. Caterpillars exposed on the underside of leaves are a welcome snack. Yeah, no, I'm aware. I've been, I've been smashing them. Yeah, look at them run in, look. Take advantage while it can. These freshly hatched ones, hatched ones, are brilliant. Oh, there's a bunch up here. Look, look at them go. Rah, I've got you. Nom, 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 nom. Right, so that's all the food there. Let's get everyone over here. 
I'm going to add these into the group as well. And we're going to see if we can build a bridge over here. Hello! No, we're not, because it is a flying praying mantis, which I didn't know what was a thing. A wasp mantid fly, okay. Her perch into the path of the ants. Unrelated to true mantids, her spiked oh. raptorial forelegs are a perfect example of convergent evolution. That is genuinely fascinating. Genuinely fascinating. So it isn't a mantis, it just has a very similar forearm structure. That's insane, and it's, it's very damaging, and it's dead, and it only drops 28 food. I was really hoping for a lot more. <laughs> <laughs> like a lot more. We got what's this coming over here? Is this one of these beetles? That's that's a problem if it comes close because they are tough. All I want is to get across this bridge. I want to build a bridge over here. And you should start Yeah, there we go. So they started bridging here rather than here. So they've almost done an additional tile annoyingly. And you can see that's how far 22. That's how far 22 ants get us, which is not very far at all, really. What if we add these in as well? Does that. Then we've got no. No, no I don't think we're not going to make it yet, I don't think. Let's, let's pull it back. What is this? Fire ants have encountered a tribe of Monomorium minimum black ants. Have they? These oh tiny dear! Lands may seem feeble, but the Invicta colony would do well to treat that them looks with caution. Beasty and armored, Although doesn't it? Primarily scavengers, they are armed with powerful chemical secretions. And, and you say not to worry about them? They just stored them in nests. Invade fire and nest. Yeah, have they? Do you think? A little heads up would have been nice, mate. Jesus. Right, a little bit of food over here. Let's go grab this. I feel like I am being really, really bad at this. And I suspect that if you go ahead and watch a lot of other YouTubers do this, they will probably be a lot better than me. I'm going to just, I'm not saying that they're lying, and just saying they probably practice a lot before they actually show you what's going on so they don't look like they're idiots. <laughs> I, though, I have zero shame. So you get to see this full glory. What are we attacking? What's going on? Oh, we've still got little black ants coming down. Is that coming down from you? You send in yeah, little black ants to attack me. Oh, so it's a war you want, is it? It's a war you want. I can do a war. I can do a war. I definitely can. But we'll, we'll see what happens when we try. <laughs> well, let's take the workers out of there. We don't want those there. Kill this little thing. It's going to storm our nest. And that one. 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 It's a constant stream, isn't it? Oh, so you don't attack each other. Oh, dear. Oh, dear. Oh, no, we're fine. Okay. I mean, I'm just going to try and mess up their whole day. That's my, that's my plan. I want to go and get their... I want to go and get their aphids is what I want to do. I want your aphids. Gimme, gimme, gimme. Gimme, gimme, gimme an ant after midnight. So far, so good. Where are you guys off to? Have you got food? So you've got something in your mouth, but I thought it gives you a little... I don't know. Yeah, the black ants are weak. We've got a whole bunch of things over here. As well as leaping into combat, the Magnolia Green Jumper will briefly gain an increase to its attack speed after its jump. Interesting. Reasonable damage but low health. Ants with gathering enabled will climb and fall victim to the Venus flytrap. Ah, turn gathering off and you're fine. When passing, you can disable gathering to stop them climbing or sacrifice enough ants to close all of their heads, although they will open eventually. Caterpillars will hatch and grow on the plant over time and can be harvested for food. A cleared plant will eventually refill as more hatch. So maybe we're worth returning to later. Awesome. And then wasp mantid flies perch on plants, watching the area below to attack passing prey. If ants are spotted, it will fly to and attack them. And it will run away if you give it a chance. I'm hoping we've got all the aphids. Yes, we have. Awesome. Let's start scurrying back. Let me get some of this food over here. Did you, do we fall victim to pitcher plants as well? 
Or do we just grab the food and run? Like, why? It says... Oh, okay, no, we actually go up and try and get in there. Yep, and we're gone. So see, this one in here the ants have been attracted fell down to and died. Nectar produced by a yellow pitcher plant. Where are you going? Where are you going up to, to this? Feed, however, the ants must position themselves precariously over a deep vat of digestive liquid. Uh huh. Waxy deposits on the Thump. rim ensure that any ant that steps too far in won't be stepping out again. Yes, so we saw one ant fell in and died and fell prey to the pitcher plant's, uh, well attack, I suppose, for lack of a better word. We saw the other one, though. The other one fell victim to the spider that was just hanging there, happily waiting for us. Oh, that's what the... We saw one of our... A few of our ants carrying some little yellow things. They were carrying the aphids from there. I didn't even see that. So we now have... Where's the little... Oh, 15. We have 15 aphids, so that should be a nice little food source for us. What I might do in the meantime... They've only got a couple of food on there, though. That's like their only food source, isn't it, the black ants? Maybe we try to take the black ants out. Maybe we try to take the black ants out. Is that a good idea? What's this? Oh, that's okay, because it's X's on the uh, mini-map. And this dude here hasn't shown his face yet, because it's daytime. I've just clicked. It's all right. Don't worry. I'll figure this out as we go. I'll figure this out as we go. I'll have some more tea, though. That's what I'll do. So my plan, by the way, is to have um, at least 4.1 and 4.2 on medium completed so I can do releases uh, on Wednesday, on the embargo day, and probably on Thursday or Friday as well. Enoclerus Rosmaris has been disturbed by the ants. I'm disturbed by it. It has the same ravenous appetite and slicing jaws as its juvenile counterpart. But now paired with thick armor plates, it represents a far greater tough. danger to the colony. The main problem is that we've been we've got, we've got our forces there's not enough food to feed split the slightly and this is this is kind of oh we've got a little bit of food from it and we got the spider okay it's not so bad and a little oh we've got a hundred food over here I might have to do a separate separate group over there then what are we fighting now one of the green ones which you can barely touch don't want to deal with that I do want that food down there though I know it's only a little piddly bit but Gimme, gimme, gimme. So I wonder if there's a way, because it says there is food at the bottom of the pitcher plants. Can you get that food? Or is it just there to fool you into going next to it? Is that its whole purpose? Seems mean, but also the exact sort of thing I would do if I was a game developer. <laughs> The ants have set upon a green link spider. Oh my word, they have. Viridans. Don't do that. She prefers to hunt on pitcher plants, but out in the open, she loses her advantage. Far from defenseless, however, when threatened, she can spit venom up to That's 30 awesome. centimeters from her fangs. Oh, what? Well, don't, don't do that. What's attacking us over here? Oh, the black ants are attacking us. You cheeky little things. You cheeky little things! These little black ants are stealing aphids. They must be chased down quickly. So I don't think they got away with any. Is it going to go back up to 15 though? 14. We've lost one somewhere. They haven't returned it to one of theirs. Are they still coming for us, though? I think they are, aren't they? They are still attacking us. We nice to look. So can the aphids die, then? Or did it just get lost? Although pitcher plants can provide food, there is a very high probability that those ants that tried to gather it will fall in and be digested. And unless those ants are cheap to replace, it may be wise to disable gathering. Okay. The green link spider can be encountered on pitcher plants or sometimes found walking between them. Ants climbing a pitcher occupied by a green links will always be killed. When fighting on the ground, they have very high health and attack damage and can squirt venom. Honestly, this seems insane. The checkered beetle represents a moderate threat to the colony with middle in health and attack damage. Right, let's think about getting rid of this uh, this this black ant colony. I think that's what we need to do. They're after us, so we're after them. 
We haven't got a lot going on for us. So I don't know how well this is going to go. Oh, maybe we should not do this. Soon, the sandy undergrowth will be teeming with salamanders, toads, and nocturnal beetles. I'm just going to do a little bit of damage to them, just because I can. Oh, run away! So let's pop the twos there. We're going to have to start trying to go after this stuff, aren't we? We're going to have to. Do that before the burrowing starts, I think, is what what we should do. So let's see what's in here. Let's see if we're capable of dealing with this. We don't have... Um... Is it just the one fire run you get? There's no second... I guess there's not, is there? You just get two variants of it. Okay. Oh, took a quick of that as well. Let's put that back on. There's 90 food out there. So I'm going to send the twos out there. That's the twos job. They're going to go out there and uh, deal with that. And we're going to see what... In fact, let's... Uh, too late. There are intruders in the nest. adult one. Okay. <clears throat> I just wanted to try and fight them outside. Just so we can try and surround them a little bit. It's not too bad. They do a fair bit of damage. Which is going to give us a little bit of food. Plus that 90 food from there. There's still another 40 food there as well. Okay, that's not too bad. Could be a lot worse. There's a toad arrival coming. Now, is the toad going to arrive in the same spot, or do they spawn in literally random places, and they may or may not ruin your entire day? Let's bring the twos back inside, because there's a toad arrival imminent. And we want to make our way, like, down here, but I know we're not trying to go for it yet. Ah, so this time it's over here, so we should be okay, actually. I'm guessing this is three of the checkered beetles. So maybe what we want to do is, like, open up this area. Oh, there's uh, three of them. One, two, three. Yes, yeah, so we'll open up this area. We'll open this, and then we'll, we'll fight them here. It'll be the plan. But what we want to do in the short term is keep an eye on these toads. Uh, there's the one that spawned up. I wonder if they always spawn up in the same... Same spots if they previously have. Oh, yeah, no, they there do. Are Hello. In the nest. So he had a path, but he decided not to go for it. Oh, the American bullfrog is eating some... Does he eat salamanders? He does! So that's interesting. So he already had a route into the nest, but he decided to take a different route. And he's slowly making his way down here. Interestingly, I wonder if they could smash through... Like, could we get lucky enough to get one that smashes through, like, here and opens up the bottom area for us without us having to do anything? It seems unlikely, doesn't it? I'm just holding everyone back here a little bit, just to try and get him out. Just so we can try and surround him a bit more. Oh, this is a problem. This is a problem. We've only got ten food. This might be the end of this. We almost killed this one, but we are all out of ants. We are all out of ants. So our first attempt at a fire ant level has ended the queen in, in imminent danger. Failure. In abject failure. I will say that I think a big part of that was because I spent so much time talking and like fanboying over the various things as I saw them, getting way too excited about stuff. So maybe we didn't progress as fast as we should have. Like, maybe we should have had enough aphids to get over there. Maybe we should have gone down there and got all those aphids. Food does seem to be a massive problem to meet the perils of the swamp. in this level. It was almost inevitable. She should never have come here. She shouldn't, but she did, and she's paid the price. So, sucks to be you, I suppose. Awesome, my word. That's... What I love about this update is that, very similar to the leaf update, leaf cutter update, uh, the leaf cutters were a completely different way of playing. You had a completely different food source, a completely different way of thinking about how to deal with the level. Because um, rather than you using primarily uh, 
other creatures to, to s subsist on. Or aphids, I suppose, are the closest thing. With the, with the leash, you have this finite resource. So you had to think about very carefully whether you're going to steal it from your, your competitors, whether you could force them back to grab some to run away, what you could go for before they could get there. And this, the fire ant levels, again, they're just so savage. There are so many things that want to kill you and can kill you that you have to really think hard about what it is you're going to go for, what it is you're going to do, and how you're going to get your food. It's fascinating. I love it. I absolutely love it. And the music is, of course, just phenomenal and, yeah... I don't know who their composer is. They did do a little thing a while back on... They attended some conference on video game music and I, I keep meaning to go and watch their um, their their segment, I suppose, because... Sorry about that. I just smashed my work headphones off of my other monitor. So hopefully they're okay. But yeah, but that, that is really... And the, the way the dynamic orchestra works, or whatever... What do they call it? Dynamic something? Uh, dynamic conductor system. That's what I'm looking for. Yeah, it's fantastic so i do want to go and read that and watch that at some point and if you are interested in the music in particular maybe the way that music is done in games i'd thoroughly recommend without even seeing it that you go watch it as well because you must love empires and you must love music so those two things together oh chef's kiss cool well 55 minutes and a failure but we did spend a lot of time just like i say fanboying over the fact the fire ant update is finally here so what can i do 4.2 or do i have to do 4.1 next uh, first I can do 4.2 so what I'll do next I think is I will have an attempt at 4.2 this is all going to be about building bridges isn't it so we're going to definitely go for numbers over quality so making more ants rather than upgrading them uh, we'll have a go at that first just in case I don't have a lot of time prior to the embargo being lifted so maybe those are only two videos I have like I say what I'd like to have done is at the very least 4.1 and 4.2 completed and then may be ready to do the former Karium challenge like early next week, but we'll see. As you're aware, my life has got insanely busy, so we'll see how that goes. For now, we're going to leave the former Karium just gathering food as we play, although there is a fairly paltry amount of food there. But we're going to just leave it sitting there for now. We're not going to worry about building this up quite yet. We'll do that another time. What does this say? You have gained access to fire ants from the adaptions menu. These come in two forms, pervasive or vigorous, and have their own upgrades and minor improvements. Can we see which gets which without clicking on it? No, we can't. Okay. That's not an indignable spot, is it? No, perfect. Awesome. Well, I am going to play 4.2, probably not tonight now because it's getting a bit late, so I'll play that tomorrow, get that recorded as well. Looking forward to seeing the bridge building in action a little bit more because that seems to be what that's all about. Traditionally, I'd say that, I mean, it seems obvious the, the 0.2 levels are more difficult. Um, in my mind, I don't know if it's 100% true, but in my mind, the 0.2 levels are significantly more difficult than the 0.1s. And we have uh, <clears throat> got a fairly difficult 0.1 level, I would say, so we'll see how it goes. Yeah, maybe they swapped it around. Maybe point one is more difficult this time. And maybe the, the, the balancing needs change. I'm not, I'm trying to make, it's almost like I'm making excuses. I'm not making excuses. I know that I'm terrible. And you can all tell me in the comments. Or if you join the stream, because uh, if you're watching this video relatively live as when it comes out at 6 p.m. on Wednesday, the 27th of July, I will be streaming at 7.15 p.m. UK time. I'll be streaming Elden Ring. So, uh, you can come along to that and you can tell me how terrible I was in my, my Empires video and what I did wrong and how you're doing it much better uh, after having the game for only a scant few minutes, whereas I've had access to it for a few days. Although this is, I have had access to it for a few days, but this is literally the first time I've played it. I loaded it up tonight and played it for the first time. I like to give you my live reactions, which is why you get me, um, you know, like I say, fanboying over all the creatures. <laughs> Oh, had a bit of a cough. Sorry. So we're going to leave that there. Hope you enjoyed that. If you did, hit the like button, comment, subscribe. As I mentioned, streaming as well. So come along and say hello there. There will be much more Fire Ants coming in the near future. Many more Fire Ant videos coming. Not much more. That's very poor English. And there will, of course, be... Uh, we might do a small free play just to see how the Fire Ants fit into it in the short term. But really, we're going to wait for that big free play update, which I'm assuming is going to come with new levels as well. In fact, let's just have a quick look... I don't think they would have changed anything. If we say, I know that quitting to the main menu saves anyway, but I'm always concerned. So we'll save and quit to the main menu. Let's just click on free play, new game. 
Uh, Dunes, Toehead, and Bankman Basin. No, so I've seen if there's any new maps to maybe take advantage of the Fire Ants, but obviously not quite yet. That's going to be where the big free play update is going to come into the fore. So we'll look forward to that. I'm assuming there'll be a swamp one, a swamp map, which would make complete sense. Awesome. Yep. So we're going to leave that there. There'll be more videos out very, very soon. You won't have to wait the weeks you've had to wait previously. They will be coming out. Um, what's the phrase I'm looking for? They're coming out, I don't know, rapidly. They were coming out pretty rapidly, the next few videos, so keep an eye out for that. I will see you next time, and as always, thank you very much for joining me.